Hey there, Virgo. So you guys, I am doing a Mind, Heart, and Soul messages spread for you. And you're going to know this is your read by everything about it, okay? You're even going to know that this person has said certain things. You know, you're, you're going to know that this is for you by all of it. So if you don't resonate with this, you guys check your Moon Rising or Venus placements. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope you subscribe if you like my energy. Um, over on Facebook, you guys, that's where I've been doing my... Um, my my transmissions from the soul and the chakra reads all that good stuff my live readings so follow me over there if you guys um you you, you know you want to pop into a live or just check out the other content that i've been um uh, planting out there okay so we're going to start with um, how you feel about this person how you feel about this person oh look at that i love it okay so there could be some questionable energy when it comes to the how this person um views you views the connection you know and i say that because the emperor did drop in reverse but i don't want to hold that over over um, this emperor's head okay um ultimately if you guys are in a in a separation there is a strong desire to bring it back in but i'm not really pulling to see what's what's going on okay um ultimately what i see here is that you hold space for this person in very very large ways um you know a past life connection um you know um that's what I feel is kind of flowing through this. Like this is the person I want to build with. This is the, the person that I want to um, see myself with. This is a, the person that makes me feel at home in their presence, right? It doesn't matter if you guys are in the park or not at home. Like this person does feel like home. Um, I feel like this person creates a safe space for you. Okay. Um, it's probably pretty intense when you guys are around each other, but intense in a very, very good way. Okay. Okay. Um, overall, we have this Knight of Swords energy. All right, that's somebody who, who takes action. I see it, and, and I'm going to go after it, and I want it. Not just humans, like um, the the passion, the aspirations, you know, the job, the money, the stability, um, whatever. How you, This person, I feel like they give you a pretty good um, um, reason to be motivated about your own life. Okay, that's what I'm kind of picking up here. So let's just see how this person feels about you, Virgo. How do they feel about you? How does this person feel about you? Okay, we got that strength card coming through. Okay, so maybe you are the re reserving the right to um, reach out or call, like no matter what you feel about them, okay? A little bit guarded. Um, you know, you got your walls up just a little bit. Um, you got your strength card coming through. I almost feel like this person is saying, let, let your guard down, let your walls, let me in. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to hurt you. Let me in. Okay. We got the seven of cups. We have the queen of cups also showing up right here. Okay. I feel like the queen of cups coming through in reverse. Um, again, she's just trying to protect her emotions and her feelings and her energy. So it could be that, that Virgo, you cut people off a long time ago and said, and say, you know, not everybody gets access to this. Not everybody deserves access to my energy and spirit. Um, you know what I mean? And it could be, too, that even though you feel really, really intense about this connection and this person, it's almost like they're navigating um, how they might feel about you, especially if you um, have um, reason not to let this person in right now. I have to pause, you guys, because it's like I'm, I'm like catching something in my throat and, and it's like somebody's like that you don't, don't say too much okay don't say too much um, uh, how they feel about you though it could be that um, you know you guys have options and this person sees that okay um, it could be too that depending on if there was a disconnection in the past that maybe um, you know you've treated this person as such okay that's not going to be for everybody um, obviously, but it's like uh, you know again it could be too that this person has um, you know kind of um, disregarded your feelings and energy and time and now it's like they could be trying to come back in and, and um redeem themselves and you're just not quite sure how to take that but if anything it's like this hope that that you will let your guard down okay with the queen of cups in reverse it could be that this person was used to getting something from you in such a way that when they if something did transpire that was negative um you took that energy away you know, um, and, and rightfully so, especially if you guys were treating this person as your true emperor, empress, you know, person. All right. So let's just see what it is that you want with this connection. What do you want to happen with this connection? 
All right, so you're looking for a new beginning, okay? You're looking for something solid, all right? You're looking for something stable, okay? You got that Ace of Wands coming through. So that's a very, very strong desire, especially when it comes to the physical aspects of life. Like, I want to see change. I want to see transformation. I want I want to see, all right, you come through, and I want, I want to see you be solid, right? You got your High Priestess card coming through also. So I'll say this, okay? You want this soulmate, this person, this energy to really step it up, especially if they have not done so in the past. All right. Um, I, I just really feel like you're, you're calling in like I want I want a grounded, stable, solid connection. OK, I want my soulmate to come in and treat me right. So you got divine masculine, divine feminine energy coming through. These are counterparts. OK, they're definitely showing up on your end. So this person, hopefully you guys didn't go through anything too um too hardcore just because I see that you have given this person um, a lot of your light like you you think of them in a very very high regard um, and it's I, I you know I feel like this person could have potentially hurt you guys in such a way that uh, they, they know they did um, you know you gave them so you you're, you're given them and you know what so much um, when it comes to like your time your energy your energetic expression and connection that's a lot. That's a huge investment to give somebody. So as far as like what you want to see, like if they're not coming in and they're not going to be solid, all right, you can go over there. Um, that's just what I see with you guys and, and what you want with this. Um, the Hierophant card is a solid, stable card. Um, you know, um, this Queen of Pentacles, it's like come through and match my energy, right? I, that's just what I see with this, you guys. Um, you, you want this person to step in, in the, in the ways that you have regarded them. So let's just see what they want with this connection. What do they want with this connection? All right. So we got the page of wands. So if you guys have, have, um, expressed, you know, any spiritual connection, um, you know, if you guys have had that conversation, it's like, we've talked about this now let's do it. All right. We got that seven of coins here. Um, they want to heal. They want to grow. It's like, let me be the energy that you've told me all along. Because I feel like you have expressed that this person is a soulmate, you know. Um, you got the star card coming through. And we got the moon card coming through in reverse. So it's like this. I feel like this person, they want to see um, the light at the end of the tunnel. So if you've given this person a chance and they messed it off, let me have another chance. Let me prove it, Okay. Um, really what I see is, is it, it's a dream, right? It's a dream team, but I feel like, you know, with you, this person may have some earning of the trust. Okay. It's, it could be too, that you guys are saying, I've given this person way, you know, way too much trust, way too much effort, way too much time and energy. And, you know, um, now they got to earn all of that back. Okay. But really what I see as far as their desires and wants is that, uh, um, Okay, let me show you I can change, right? All right, so let's see what it is you don't see unfolding when it comes to this connection. So what's going on behind the scenes of this connection? And we're talking about a 30-day turnaround time. What's unfolding in this connection that you don't see at the moment, okay? What have we got coming through here? Okay, so what's unfolding? Look at that. The sun card showing up, you guys. That is just like... It is saying, you know, the overall energy is saying there's happier times ahead. Okay, if you guys have felt this person has not been in their head and not been just overly obsessing about this, overly obsessing about you, um, you know, because they're not reaching out or they're not really um, speaking on those feelings and that energy, you got to know internally they're, they're, they're struggling with whatever has transpired. Okay, um, you know, you got your lover's card showing up right here. Um, so really this person is, is thinking about the potential loss. How am I going to win this person back? Especially if they've already started trying to win you back and you're just like, yeah, no dice. Okay. This person is reeling from this energy. I'm not saying that you're doing anything to teach this person a lesson, but I'm going to tell you if you were thinking that this person, have they learned their lesson? Do they know what they're going to lose? Do they know what they're going to miss out on when it comes to this dime over here? They're learning it. Okay. So um, just know that this person behind the scenes, you know, they're, they're tapping into their feelings, their, ener their energy, their emotions, um, you know, just how big of a potential um, a person you are and what you represent in their life. That is what's happening. So they're starting to discover more and more as time goes on. All right. So let's see with this energy, what their next move is. 
what is their next move all right so next move we got the overall energy of this queen of wands coming through right there and i just i can't help but feel look at that coming out of a break coming out of a pause coming out of that reflection okay um to come through all right so the four of swords you guys um, that would represent a pause a break you know um a snag in the connection but in reverse you know we got the return coming through so this person's going to pop out of it so if you had had zero contact if you haven't heard from this person at all they're going to come through and they're truly going to try to invest back into you in ways um that maybe you have wished for or hoped for um you know when you guys first met, you know, especially if you found that you were going above and beyond to try to make this person happy. Um, there's a saying, right? Um, at first we do things um, because we want to, because we have a desire to. Um, and then it's like we stop doing those things. It's like, uh, you. so when you meet somebody new, you treat them as you want to be treated, right? And then what happens as time progresses is you start treating them exactly how they start treating you, okay? Um, you know? If you guys are picking up what I'm putting down, right? So I'm going to pull some messages from the mind, heart, and soul. And let's see what comes through with what this person wants you to know. All right. So messages from the mind space. Look at that. I don't want to let you go. I don't want to let you go. Of course. And that's been a fear. I think that's been a fear throughout this whole read, right? When it comes to the heart space, the queen of swords. Look at that. All right, when it comes to the heart space, look, you've been so honest. Like, I, I just feel that this Queen of Swords represents big honesty through you, and they see that. All right, um, they couldn't, they wouldn't want it any other way. Okay, so even if you feel like your words, um, you know, have had little impact, um, no, don't even think like that. With the Queen of Swords, that's somebody who, who they admire you for your truth, your honesty, your sarcasm. Um, your jokes, your funny attitude when it can be funny, your realness when you are real. This person appreciates all those aspects of you. You're probably the most realest person in my life that I've ever fucking, you know, seen. Excuse my language, but I'm getting kind of passionate here because that that Queen of Swords does speak on it. Okay. Um, and then messages from the soul space. Messages from the soul, their higher self, their soul. All right, every loving thought is a seed of love. Sometimes the seed sprouts instantly and other times it lies dormant for a while. Hello, the timing really doesn't matter. Love always grows into greater love. Okay, well, so say they, right? Um, but I feel like when we start moving forward, really what we can't hold on to as far as the past, it becomes easier to let go of. All right, especially if you're dealing with somebody who's never experienced um, a love like yours, okay? So initials coming through for this read. And if your initials or their initials are not here, you guys, that's perfectly fine. Um, as long as you resonate with the cards, that's all that matters. Okay. So you got Y, C, P, G, J, and D. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave it here, you guys. I'm sending you so much love. Take care.